as a coach, I think all coaches will tell you that they have to adjust and adapt. Um, and in your training, you learn that there's going to be injuries and that the next man up. But this is an injury. You know, this is sometimes not even an ill person. It's a contact traced individual that's 100% healthy that passed his COVID test and he's out for two weeks, you know, and it can happen the day of the game. And so right now, our ability to adjust and have uh, some versatility in what we're doing. Uh, if you can't do that, it's going to be really, really difficult to win. There's m probably different parts to that word. Uh, one is a player that has multiple skill sets that can do multiple things, athletically speaking. You know, uh, there's some D linemen, for example, that can play in and play inside. Uh, there's some wideouts that can play outside and inside. There's tight ends that are guys that can be down on the line and then also motion and split out, like they're versatile players. But then there's also mental versatility. I think there's some guys that just have, Drake Thomas has a super high football IQ. Like he can play Sam, Mike, and Will mentally and physically. And so those things are important. And then I think during your systems, you know, offensively, uh, are we versatile enough to sustain losing five tight ends maybe one week and then have to play four wides when normally we're going to play three wides or two wides. So your packages have to have some versatility in this COVID structure that we're in, you know, to be able to adjust. Oh, I mean, every day our schedule is so up in the air. Um, you know, normally we would plan out a fall camp and I mean, from what day we're going to practice to how many periods that day, what each period would have in it. We do that before we even go anywhere in the summer, you know. So when we come back in August, we've got 35 days or 40 days planned out. And those days really don't change. Um, this fall camp every day has been, what do we want to do today? <laughs> And so we've completely gone from the format that we're used to, and the guys have handled it, you know, uh, I've handled it well. And I challenged them, I challenged our players, and I challenged myself. Like every day you have to roll with the punches and be, you know, um, somebody that doesn't look like they're frustrated by it. Because the minute I look that way, our team has no chance, you know. So I have to be able to handle those things and deal with them and use my staff to help me deal with them. America, I'm here to tell you the movement is on. Thousands of homeowners are plugging into solar with Power Home Solar. We install solar in your home for zero money down, not one single penny. Come join the movement and let the sun shine in. It's about lift capacity. It's about the hydraulics. It's a weight thing. It's about how well it's made. Steel, baby. More features. Standard features. It's about doing more. It's about the land. And making it better. Having something to pass down. It's about having pride in my work. It's about owning the best. Your life is more flexible and efficient now than ever before. And your energy is too. North Carolina's 26 electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural people, communities, and businesses we serve. 
With reliable, sustainable, innovative energy and continued commitment to economic development and community support in this decade and beyond. Learn more at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. You never know what's around the corner. That's why Ford is built for what's next. Rough terrain, we can help tackle it. A lot going on around you, we can help you focus. Driver in your blind spot, we can help you spot them. And to help you prepare for what's next, your Carolina Ford dealers are offering great deals on America's best-selling brand. Now, get zero for 60 plus 1,000 trade assist cash or up to 5,000 cash back on Escape or Explorer. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. I look so cool right now. And relax, sit no tall. The down to the middle. Ready. 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 Take. This is what I've been working for. We got, we got too much to talk about. I know. Yeah, well, where's he? He's right there. You're gonna have a whole bunch of new friends today. I uh, know, man. A lot, hey, a lot of people are gonna show me some love, man. That's why I want to get it out there. So like everyone, I want to see like the most popular guy. I always try to like, you know, make sure everyone's evolved, like from the equipment staff guys who are, who are here on their own will, they're not getting paid to be here, to video staff, to inter like guys that people are interning, they're trying to, they're just trying to like learn as much as possible, just kind of creating that more cohesive bond. There you go, Zoe. Hey, stay here, stay here. I saw something. Mic'd up, by the way. This is Mary Hannah. She does a good job. You always kind of look at like the great leaders that you go through. Like you go in the past, like uh, former players that were like really good leaders, and coaches always refer to them like, "Oh, these guys were like top tier leaders." But I think people always kind of forget with leadership is you know. Sure, there's some like qualities that it is that are like universal, but I feel like at the same time you also got to figure out how you can lead, lead your own way. Uh, I'm so happy, smile. dude. I'm so happy. Smile. Oh, I, Just be yourself. I'm gonna be myself. Time to run 100 yards to go stretch. I want to go record by saying me and Ricky never talked this much during practice. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> and I slowed it down too. So we scored on it, right? So I'm, at, I'm at that point, point in my career where like really just want to give the people what they want you know they want to, they want to see more more of 71 I think versatility means just excelling in multiple aspects of whatever you're doing so being like a versatile football player for me is like being able to play multiple positions but you also got to think versatility kind of extends outside of, you know, the football field and being a student athlete uh, just in general. Because there's always like that um, view set of, you know, athletes that they're just there because they're athletic. But being versatile and a student athlete is you're not just an athlete, but you're also you're not just a student. And being able to perform at very high levels in both, I think, really embodies what it means to be versatile. I don't, I don't uh, just want to excel just on the field. I want to excel off the field as well, even give myself the best opportunities and showcase red, that, you know, I'm red, more than just, you know, just a football player. Best thing for playing NC State football? It's a lot of things. They take care of us here, man. You know, they, they, they were helping us through so much stuff. Um, academics, um, your body and health, the training staff here, they, they're on, I mean, I don't want to say that they're on call, but if you call them, you know, two o'clock in the morning and you're throwing up or whatever, it's super sick and you, you need some, you need medicine, you need to see a, you go to hospital. You know, they pick up the phone and you know we get fed really good meals you know the nutrition staff takes care of us our the amount of time coaches especially like you know coaching staff and then um, the weight and training staff the time they put into us like in the off season to make sure it enhance our general athleticism I don't think that I don't think that's matched anywhere else I really do think our our staff and the people that work around us they are providing us the best opportunity to play our best on the field it's complimentary football 
Not only you have the offense going, the defense going, the special teams going, we ought to have the craziest ass sideline in college football. That's the love we should have. There's four parts. When you can't play, on the sideline going ballistic for the guys that are playing. It was a long camp, but it was. It was, and it's been a long time since we got to go against somebody else. We got to continue to develop guys, because as you know, every guy on the roster has to be able to run the system. I was saying, today there's a lot of situations against, okay? And being championship football players is about owning those situations. Uh, Coach Beck, I think, has coached in many systems. Um, you know, from smash mouth football at Nebraska to wide open football at Ohio State and Texas uh, and Kansas when we were together. He was an option coach in high school, so, you know, he has versatility in his package because of all the things he's learned as a play caller. Got a long coaching journey, that's for sure. Um, I've been a lot of places, um, high school, college, um, Division One, one AA. Been all over the country, I've met all kind of people. Um, had an opportunity to coach in all kinds of unique games. Uh, it's been an incredible blessing and a great ride so far. And, uh, you know, I'm very fortunate and blessed to be here. I love uh, the area. I love our staff. Coach Dorn's um, welcomed me in with open arms, and I've known Coach for, for a lot of years, uh, all the way back when I was a high school coach, and he recruited, was recruiting into my area. And then we worked together at the University of Kansas. You know, at different times, the opportunity, we always talked about trying to work together, and, and uh, he tried a couple different times, and the timing just wasn't right. And, you know, as I've um, gone through my career and been a lot of places, I, I enjoy um, good people. I enjoy being around great people and coaching, and there's a lot I can give to young players, young coaches, with the vast uh, experience that I've had. So I, was, I love those challenges. I love being able to come in and, and feel like uh, you can make a difference with young people and uh, help them and, and share the wealth and the experience that I've gathered over the years. And this seemed to be like a perfect fit for that. Well, I think a couple of ways. One, um, as a coach, relationships, right? So dealing with players, my experience and not at all the different levels allows me now the opportunity to probably every young man that I coach and, and I'm around, um, I've, I've been in their quote home, even though it really wasn't them, but somebody like them. So there's probably a pretty good uh, background relationship that I'm gonna have with them, right? Um, as a coach on the field, right? Being able to try and experiment with different things I think you see that a lot at the high school level. There's some great coaches at the high school level, right? And um, the difference between some of them and, and a person like me, for example, is I, I got a chance. So, you know, you see that happen a lot. And so that, that brings a lot of diversity, you know, to what I have to do. And then I think as a recruiter also, because now, you know, again, I've been at those levels. I know what the parents think, what the players are thinking, how they feel, the high school coach and the relationship with those guys, because I've been them, right? But then also at the collegiate level, being in those recruiting battles from some of the programs I've been at in the past to know what it's like to go after those types of players. Well, I think, you know, first of all, um, I'm very impressed with the coaching staff. I think every one of these guys have welcomed me in. Um, they, they believe in my vision the things that I was able to bring in, and then we've, we've kind of molded this. I've learned from them, they've learned from me, um, and we've been able to uh, present this vision to our players, and I think that they've bought into it. I think they see it, they believe in it. Um, I think they're having fun, which is always important, uh, and that's been a big key to it, obviously. And just continue to coach at heart and coach the details of the game, and eventually the success just happens. It doesn't happen because of any one play. It happens because of the thousands and thousands of reps, the thousands of coaching on what to do and how to do it allows them to have success. America, I'm here to tell you the movement is on. Thousands of homeowners are plugging into solar with Power Home Solar. We install solar in your home for zero money down, not one single penny. Come join the movement and let the sun shine in.
For me, it's about lift capacity. It's about the hydraulics. It's a weight thing. It's about how well it's made. Steel, baby. More features. Standard features. It's about doing more. It's about the land. And making it better. Having something to pass down. It's about having pride in my work. It's about owning the best. Your life is more flexible and efficient now than ever before. And your energy is too. North Carolina's 26 electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural people, communities, and businesses we serve with reliable, sustainable, innovative energy and continued commitment to economic development and community support in this decade and beyond. Learn more at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. You never know what's around the corner. That's why Ford is built for what's next. Rough terrain, we can help tackle it. A lot going on around you, we can help you focus. Driver in your blind spot, we can help you spot them. And to help you prepare for what's next, your Carolina Ford dealers are offering great deals on America's best-selling brand. Now, get zero for 60, plus 1,000 trade assist cash, or up to 5,000 cash back on Escape or Explorer. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. Yeah, well, Justin and his staff do a great job. Um, they've been through a lot. Um, going back to the number of injuries that were here a year ago, and not just them, but what's uh, Thunder and his staff, Mike Solomon, uh, works a lot with our injured players in the recovery aspect of things coming back. And so those two, you know, working together through last year, uh, in a way, probably prepared him for what we're dealing with a little bit right now of the in and out of players. But uh, yeah, I feel bad for all the healthcare, you know, not just our sports med staff downstairs. I mean, what, what has been put in the laps of healthcare across the country is uh, ultimately a really, really challenging scenario, you know, because it's an unknown. And I think everybody goes to work kind of knowing what they're going to do that day. And it's the opposite in that world, really. Uh, and, and I have a lot of respect for how they've handled it. So you wear a lot of different hats, right? So today I'm the, uh, today we might have to be managing a sick kid. The next hour we're managing an orthopedic injury. The next hour we've got some, somebody that needs uh, psychological intervention. Somebody just might need, um, we might be taping, right? We might be managing COVID. I mean, we might be doing any of that stuff. So I think being able to, to wear a lot of different hats in a lot of in a short period of time, I think that's versatility to me. And you know, the great thing about this job is you never know every day what you're going to get. Like when you walk in the door, you don't know what's coming in. You don't know what's going to happen in the next two hours at practice. Um, we might have a medical emergency that we have to deal with just on on the drop of a hat. Um, somebody may have a significant injury. Somebody may have a smaller injury. Somebody may be sick, right? Somebody not COVID sick, just sick. Um, and so we just have to manage all of that at one time. And you never, like I said, you never know what you're gonna get. And, and my staff is great with that as well. I mean, those guys are fantastic. I mean, they'll, they'll jump in and um, everybody does, does the job to push the cart forward and does the best for, for the athlete. I think it's been challenging to, to manage all of these pieces of information like we just talked about with the COVID, right? And, and who's got this going on? And then the protocol changes, right? And it's settled down a good bit now, but you know, back in March when all this hit, you know, the protocol was changing. What we did on Monday wasn't what we were doing on Friday. I mean, it was so rapid and it's changing so rapidly. I think that's been the biggest challenge is just keeping up to date and making sure that you're current. Um, and you, know, you got to fight, somebody will tweet something. And, and now all of a sudden 15 players and coaches are texting me about, hey, this, is this true? Like we've got, COVID changed this way, and I hadn't seen anything from the CDC on that, right? And so uh, I think that's been, that's been probably the biggest challenge. You know, we've, we've relied on each other as athletic trainers from around the country. We've been, been fortunate enough to be in a group of guys that have been meeting for the better part of 20 weeks or so um, on Zoom. And so from all across the country, from East Coast to West Coast, and everybody's been kind of comparing protocols and just talking for about an hour um, every week. And I think that's been really good to hear you know, you're dealing with the same issues that they're dealing with in, uh, you know, in Texas or in California or somewhere else. And we've all got the same problems and we've all kind of talked about how we're managing it. And I think that's kind of helped hone, to be honest with you, I think it's helped hone responses. <laughs> you know, you want to make sure that everybody's safe and that everybody is healthy. Um, and so just keeping up with it. We we're fortunate enough to get all those guys back from last year, or most of them back from last year. Um, we were able to 
those guys were pretty advanced along. Um, so we kind of got them through the quarantine and, and got them back and got all those guys cleared. So, so we were fortunate enough from that standpoint that when we had to start managing the COVID piece of it, that you know we, I can kind of focus a lot of my energy goes to that. And really that's a lot of just information management. It's just who's had a test, who's testing when, who's had their post echo done, who's got their blood work done, you know, who's seen doc, who's got to see doc, what day is this guy out of isolation, what day is this guy out of quarantine, where's this guy living, where's that guy living, who does this guy live with, you know, just all that information just has been really just managing all of that, you know, and trying to keep all that straight because you don't want to leave a guy in, in longer than he's got to be and you definitely don't want to let him out before they need to be out. But, you know, we're fortunate enough we've got a really good team to work with here. You know, my staff has been great, our docs have been great. Um, the op staff's been great, so everybody's just been kind of working all together uh, to really help manage all that and do it. And um, so, you know, my role has kind of changed, I guess, in, in that way a little bit. You know, we're still doing a lot of patient care, and now that we're back into football and back into practice, getting guys getting hurt again, and so we're, we are being able to manage that piece. And um, so, yeah, so we're still busy, just in a different way. Oh, my favorite part of the job is working with the kids, and. Um, you know, the guys are fantastic to be around. They're always, they're fun. You know, you can pick on them and tease with them and, and you get them. And, you know, the coaches are great to work with. I think just being around this environment, uh, it's just fun. It's, it's not like coming to work every day. I think overall, I think just getting to work with just the kids every day is, is really the best part of it. America, I'm here to tell you the movement is on. Thousands of homeowners are plugging into solar with Power Home Solar. We install solar in your home for zero money down, not one single penny. Come join the movement and let the sun shine in. about lift capacity. It's about the hydraulics. It's a weight thing. It's about how well it's made. Steel, baby. More features. Standard features. It's about doing more. It's about the land and making it better. Having something to pass down. It's about having pride in my work. It's about owning the best. Your life is more flexible and efficient now than ever before. And your energy is too. North Carolina's 26 electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural people, communities, and businesses we serve with reliable, sustainable, innovative energy and continued commitment to economic development and community support in this decade and beyond. Learn more at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. You never know what's around the corner. That's why Ford is built for what's next. Rough terrain, we can help tackle it. A lot going on around you, we can help you focus. Driver in your blind spot, we can help you spot them. And to help you prepare for what's next, your Carolina Ford dealers are offering great deals on America's best-selling brand. Now, get zero for 60, plus 1,000 trade assist cash, or up to 5,000 cash back on Escape or Explorer. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. This portion of One with Wolfpack Football is presented by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, bringing real Coke taste with zero sugar and zero calories to Wolfpack fans everywhere. Honestly, I love being on the grass. You know, I think being out there with the guys and coaching and, and watching the things that you work on with them, be it a drill, um, be, it a, be it a way that they're supposed to uh, correct a certain thing, and to see them do that and have success and the joy that it brings them deep down, right? Maybe they don't show it at the moment, but there's a smile inside that, wow, that works. And I and feel like you made a difference in that young man's life um, on the field and off the field as well. That, that's why I do what I do. I love, I love these guys. I love being around these guys. This is a great group of kids, young men, right? They, they work hard. Um, they're very enthusiastic and energetic and they want to win. And that's exciting. I mean, it's hard not to be fired up when you come into work and be around guys like that. Then you got people there just like the hard workers. They just put their head down. They do everything right. They try to excel on the field, off the field. They try to outreach programs. And then you have leaders that, you know, 
goes beyond just the football and like the Murphy Center. You know, people people on our team right now are, are leading, you know, social rights. And that's and that's that's incredible, man. You know, it takes it takes a lot of it takes a lot of um, I don't even know what it I can't even put a singular word on it. Uh, courage is definitely one that comes to mind, but it's not an easy thing. Just just general just willpower to to kind of put yourself out there and to say to say like, all right, I'm going to be the example. And Coach Thunder, our strength, ca our strength coach, always says it too, who, who much is given, much is required. I feel like when I'm on the football field, when I'm off the football field, I'm two different people. When I'm on the football field, you can kind of like let those constraints and like you can kind of let your aggression, you can kind of take it out and like just let all your emotions kind of just go through and just, you know, just get, get that work and get after some people, you know. And it's going to be tough. One day you're going to have to hang it up. But I'm, I'm always going to be grateful that I've had the experience to play football for as long as I did because I know not many people get that opportunity and I will never take that for granted. There's a lot of growth, uh, emotional, physical, you know, just uh, mental maturity that you go through in college and you kind of, it's almost a cliche, but you really figure, people say like, oh, you always figure out who you are in college. And you really figure out who you are in college by, you know, going through flaws and overcoming adversities that you have to battle with. Um, and really figuring out who, like, you're, which, what is, what, like, who is Joe Skullflip and what is, who, what is his purpose and who is he as, like, a person, who is he as a man, you know? And you really, it, it's hard, it's kind of hard to, you know, ask yourself those questions, especially hard to answer those questions whenever, you know, you're an 18 year old kid in high school or 16 year old kid in high school because, you know, the world's so small for you. And when you get off, when you get out in college and you're kind of on your own a little bit, you know, experiencing your own things, realizing, realizing that, that life is, life is not easy. At the same time, you know, you kind of, you know, you kind of got to, you know, you know, stay in the hall and hold your ground and make sure, you know, make sure you're taking care of yourself and figuring out, figuring out how can you be the best you you can be, regardless of any situation? Hell of a camp, boys. Hell yeah. yeah Hell of a camp, boys. Yeah, I had them. Cause I take fear in those who love me. Low lighting with the gated entry. I'm level headed cause I'm never stressing. So I don't want to be alone No, I don't want to be alone I don't want to be alone And I don't want to make up No, I don't want to make up No, I don't want to make up Short-sighted for the lie was empty and you low key in the face of limelight and you want to be who you are when it really counts most so I don't want to be alone. 